Now, Michal Gurovich is already in the studio to talk some uh, photography for our photography segment. How are you doing? Very good. So, uh, just yesterday, the 2015 Pulitzer winners and finalists were announced. Um, Daniel Berhulak was awarded a first place uh, $10,000 award for his uh, coverage of the Ebola outbreak in West Africa. He uh, spent four months in Liberia, Sierra Leone, and uh, Guinea covering this uh, horrible Tragedy. epidemic. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Yeah, it touched it's, it's, uh, thousands of people. Did you four know? Months? How did he recover from four months there? How did you know? he keep I, kept I, safe? I, 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 I'm just looking at the at the images, it's, and I'm, I feel like it's uh, it's hard. I'm yeah. thinking of spending, actually Harsh going and spending images. four months there. It's unbelievable. Did yeah. you know that there is only one Israeli photographer to have ever won the Pulitzer Prize? I do know, and do you know his name? Yes, his call. His name is uh, Oded Balilti, and he won uh, this prize for uh, this outstanding image of a lone Jewish settler um, challenging hundreds of uh, officers while uh, clashes Very erupted. Very picture. Yeah. Uh, these clashes erupted after the Supreme Court uh, cleared the way for the um, uh, demolition of nine houses at the Amona settlement mm -hmm. east of Ramallah. Um, very strong image. Yeah, uh, so uh, Balilti was born and raised in Jerusalem and uh, has started his photography way um, at the Bemachane uh, magazine, the Israeli army uh, magazine. He later on joined the Associated Press, um, AP as we all know it, uh, organization and was based in uh, Beijing for a while. He's currently living in Tel Aviv, covering uh, uh, current events and uh, making uh, documentary features for AP Israel. Mm -hmm. He's done many interesting projects in Israel and abroad. Um, one of them is called uh, Men in Black, where he uh, documented the, the ultra-Orthodox uh, Jewish community from really up close. Now, these are really closed communities. They usually don't like them being photographed and people getting into their communities. Yeah, outsiders are not let in, but exactly. uh, apparently he, he definitely got a... Uh, uh he managed to get in close and, and capture it. Mainly the way that they keep away from the modern and uh, Western influences. That's what right. he said was a... Right. Uh, What's he doing nowadays? Well, right now he has uh, an exhibition uh, called uh, Sabra Traces in the Eretz Israel Museum, um, where he um, really uh, made an up-close look of the Sabra uh, cactus tree, which is which symbolizes the Israeli yeah. native-born yep. Israelis. And um, he says that each and every one of these Sabras has its own distinguished um, personality. And this uh, exhibition will be running until August 8th. And I highly recommend you go and see All it. All right, we uh, certainly will. Thanks, Michal. Thank and we you. should say that uh, uh, if you at home have uh, an idea for an exhibition you'd like us to talk about, our email is on the screen, so feel free to write in, tell us about it. Uh, we're done for today. We'll be back tomorrow with another edition of Culture. Until then, you can check out our website, i24news.tv. Thanks.